Hello everybody, welcome to um, Isolation Art School um, and this class is going to be hosted by me, Sue Dre. I'm a fashion illustrator, artist and lecturer and I'm very excited about running you through a couple of exercises I have planned for you um, which I sort of use for, for my students and I kind of have embedded in my head anyway. It's one of those things that you just learn over years and years of drawing and I draw very, very quickly. I normally draw at London Fashion Week and I'm live at my easel and I have like 15 minutes to, to do a painting in. And um, it's uh, a very intense experience. So this is probably why I'm wearing this hat today, which I made for, for um, the last season. And it's a bit of fun. So I thought I'd get dressed up as if I was at London Fashion Week and um, put me in the mood. And um, also, but what is important is the fact that I'm going to be drawing at an easel. And I think, you know, there's something, and I talk to students all the time about this, stand up, don't sit down. It gives you more urgency and it gives you more fluidity to your drawing. So it's quite important that, you know, we learn to um, find what's comfortable for us as well. But certainly standing up is uh, a very good kind of um, position to be in. So what I'm going to show now on the screen is um, some examples of the things I want you to think about while I'm going to be talking you through things that we want, I want you to think about. Um, in regards to the um, drawing the figure. So energy points are very important and looking at the, the most important parts of the body. So say for instance, where the sh shoulder angle is, the breastplates are, the waist and the hips, and then again, the knees, because these, depending on what the pose is, are going to vary a, a little bit and, and sometimes considerably. And in this particular pose I, I chose for us to draw from today is that it's, it's got lots of angles to it and, and lots of movement. So that's that's probably why I chose it. Um, and that, you know, then we want to look at the, we want to look at the lines, the sort of ley lines almost, or where is the energy bouncing from and to, which again is something you can very quickly analyze depending on where the distribution of the weight of the model is and um, what what is the, 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 what, what is pushing the body into that particular angle. So ley lines, balance lines are important to kind of think about as well as your, your points. And then the third one is really just about having fun, about the fluidity and if we were a jug of water which we almost are we're made predominantly of liquid um, where would the water slosh about and where would it flow through and down through so these are the things that I think it's, it's quite nice to think about um, when you're doing a fashion drawing and the other thing is and again I don't want to get hell-bent on this is that um, you really need to think about the um, it's good to know how many heads there are to a body. There's roughly about eight heads to a body. We all vary, of course, all of us do. Sometimes it's nine, sometimes it's seven and a half, or whatever. But, you know, whatever size you're headed is going to correspond to the rest of your body. So we know we can get it into proportion. Okay, now let's just get going because this has only got 10 minutes and I got to show you a couple of things. But to, uh, right now, the first thing I want to talk about is I'm going to do my, my, my drawing here on um, a piece of newspaper which we all have lying around the house. We don't have to use expensive cartridge. And um, it's painted on it with, um, you know, wall paint. Okay, so now we're going to speed the film up a little bit. And I'm just going to draw very quickly the first impression of what I see. So focusing on the silhouette, I'm also looking at my ley lines, my balance lines, the points, and of course that lovely fluid line that sort of flows through the body, which gives it the great silhouette. And you know, as a fashion illustrator, we always want to focus in on the silhouette, the drama of the pose, and of course the movement. So this lovely line drawing is really about familiarizing myself with the pose. So I suggest you all have a go at doing that first before the second painting. You know what I also found out the other day is if you put this corrugated card underneath this paper, um, you start to pick up the, um, and I'm using a sort of a, a piece of kind of almost chalk here, but you pick up the lovely lines of the, off the paper underneath, so you couldn't actually paint that. Can you see that? That oops, I'm going to put the card over here and uh, move it around. I probably should get myself a bigger card. I mean, cardboard is like all over the place at the moment, and I, I've become quite a connoisseur on cardboard now. But what's good card? What's bad card? What can I? What can I rip up and play with? So 
And just, just a bit of fun as a, as a sort of added extra that we have this lovely pattern that's going, running through the, um, which we didn't even have to paint ourselves. We just literally um, used our, uh, our, co our colour to obtain that, you know, and it's lovely. And you, you know, you could move that slightly and then put another colour down and get another another colour running through it. But it's just about, in a way, it's just about kind of having a little bit of fun with the materials that you've got all lying about the place. Okay, now we're going to do it in cardboard. I'm going to put down some paint and we're just going to kind of like try and get the the flamboyance of this pose. I'm going to start with my, with my head. Um, start with my head um, and just to try and map out what I think all those lovely lines are doing around the body, you know, where they're all kind of going. Um, and I put it in, put it in this kind of light colour, this flesh type colour, just so I can just get a nice idea. And I, I did actually sketch it out a tiny bit. So I've got a sort of a, a sort of a thought about where everything's going to be going on this page, and I don't even know really what I'm how I'm, how I'm achieving this, um, how I'm going to go, you know, what this is going to be like in the end. But I I thought I'd just give something a bit of a go, really. Um, <clears throat> so we have um, our sort of flesh colour, and I was wanting to, you know, maybe put down again, just maybe think about putting down the shade of the of this jacket put that down into some put that down another color i didn't really want to put to too much detail um i've got a slightly diff darker color here which i can actually add in as well for some kind of nice effect but um just thinking about i don't know just kind of looking back at the picture the whole time get finding the vibrancy of what is going on and um, putting back my colour. Obviously I'm going to be working over the that uh, fleshy colour. But sort of like, I love the way the cardboard kind of like those lovely lines all the time on it. Um, that it kind of acts as a, a great surface to work on. I just love accidents like that that happen. They're just fantastic. They just kind of like really um, excite me, you know, when things I like those little booty things on the bottom of her feet. And again, because we are fashion illustrators and make a lot of, you know, we can, we can do whatever we want to do, however it feels for us at the time. And um, we can add our, our own little you know, um, our own little kind of je ne sais quoi, maybe one says, um, but just kind of adding a bit more drama um, to the piece so that you've got a nice central colour coming on here. Um, and keep adding a bit more of that paint, just slosh it about a bit. You know, like I'm saying, everything is just kind of there to have a bit of fun with um and i'm kind of doing i'm going to do something which i don't normally do um everything i'm doing right now is kind of a completely new experiment but uh i don't really i just want to kind of just put some eyes in it just looks like her eyes are probably going to be there i should imagine don't you think and um and she has got a nice little pair of a lips <laughs> for kissing um so let's just bung those in here just sort of let's do those now let's get those little lips in which are quite sweet um and then what else i wanted to do with the with the cardboard really was this exciting thing which i've got here um is i wanted to start to print on this with i've got some cardboard here that um I peeled back the cardboard and I to get this lovely straight lines, um, which is what we are picking up when we did that first drawing. 
if you peel back any old cardboard this is cheap old cardboard the cheaper sometimes the better and the cheapest bubble wrap too is the best because it's got those lovely bubbles on one side um sometimes it comes i know this is terrible for the planet so we really must use it but um the, this side when you print it it's fantastic so i'm just going to show you in a print on this a little bit i'm going to also add a little bit of black detail um and then that'll be it for the day but let me just show you what how this kind of prints because it's beautiful all right so bubble wrap we're going to go in with a bit of bubble wrap and 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 print over the top of that um as well and that kind of adds a, a lovely sort of mushy almost mushy mess too which is kind of like what we want because it gives a lot of lovely movement going on to the pose and um kind of like if, even if it comes off the page it just kind of somehow works it doesn't really matter just press that down you've got a great big bouffon of color there it'd be nice to get that around the face actually so she's got like a a nice big thing going on down there around the head and um, let's put some on this leg too. So it's kind of like got a lovely little sense of joy going on to that painting, which I think is kind of fun now and um, added a little bit of extra, extra oomph, so to speak. Now I probably normally maybe go in with this with a paintbrush and I'm going to be doing it with a pencil. So I might go in now and, you know, add, um, add the sort of like the the line you know it doesn't have to have line but it is sometimes quite nice to put in that in that line it just sort of sometimes uh if you kind of if you love doing a little bit of uh line work as well i mean again it all depends on on what you on what you how you sort of see your work but it's quite nice sometimes to add a little bit of line work and i quite enjoy that part of it um Never know whether I should or I shouldn't, but there we go. And add in the rest of the face. Now, I've only got 10 minutes, as you well know, so I haven't got long but um, to do this. But So it's all very quick and I could probably carry on working on this for a little bit longer. But, you know, um, it's it, it, how long do you want to spend on a painting? Um, sometimes I think the fashion drawing is quite nice when it's just, you know, um, quick and if I'm obviously if I'm drawing live it's super quick <laughs> so that kind of gives you a little bit of how I produce a uh, fashion illustration and of course I haven't even gone in with my white and there's some you know white is great to go into you know you can add a little bit of your highlights all over the place and um, and also it's quite nice to sort of uh, um, use it if you wanted to paint the back as well and we could even go in with some bubble wrap with white on it which might be quite nice so you know all this is um is uh, just for you to sort of take further experiment further i'm using this household paint here actually by the way um and you could even paint the surface first um in the paint and then go over the top of that so you've got you're not working with a, this kind of background but it is quite nice having um a uh background and we could actually just you know again go in with our paint and and just add a little bit of white around around the Im image just to kind of give it a a sense of something else um and um just kind of have that, that kind of fun with it really so so i i hope you found something um of use of his class you know that you can play with your materials you can play with bubble wrap you can play with cardboard you can play with recycled materials you just drag your pencil across that page don't be frightened it's only a mark and and the more you do the better you get and and um just just sort of relax and enjoy it and 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 enjoy your splendid isolation and be creative and lots of love um bye